Hi there, I'm Robert. Welcome to rocksmodels.co.uk. Today we're going to be building this wet calf mini kit for JWR Benches. It's a double O H O gauge. You get four benches, they're laser cut, the kitchen table's cleared. Let's get modelling. So let's see what's in the kit when you open it up. You get the instructions, quite simple instructions, easy to read, quite easy to follow. Great picture of what it looks like on the back, a good close up view there. Uh, you get three pieces of pre-cut card, the card is quite thick, it's laser cut etched out, the first one is the green one which is the, uh, the actual stands, the metal part of the, uh, the seats, then you have the GWR logos that go in the middle of that, and then uh, the final piece is the piece with the, the wooden benches, the slats on, as well as a little jig which I've uh, already made up here, enabling you to make the chairs keep them square, and as you can see at the back, I've also got two that I've already made for this. Um, it's quite simple, the only tools you need is a nice and sharp scalpel, I've got that there. A um, pair of tweezers is useful and it recommends in the instructions, normally with Metcalf kits, uh, to use the Yoohoo basically super glue type glue. Um, I don't, I've actually got basically a PVA based wood adhesive which I got really cheap at Tool Station. Obviously a big load of this, what I do is I pop a little blob of it onto um, some paper, just got a, a separate bit of paper here, it's a little bit of scrap paper and then use um, another little piece of paper just to sort of put the blobs on there. So uh, let's clear this and make our first one. Let's get cutting out. Uh, first of all, we will um, take out some of the benches. There's um, just on the back of here, you just want to score. There's a little couple of dabs just where the, the laser cutting hasn't gone all the way through. And it should just cut through those and carefully pop those out. may need to just very carefully uh, just remove the uh, centre piece if it's not already out to give you the, uh, the slats. Next we're going to do the centres, we're going to need six of these, uh, obviously they've just done a, a few spare ones here. Um, I have found that it's a little bit tricky on some of those just to really do the uh, these little score marks on the back just to make sure that when you push it out, you don't get any surplus bit of paper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next are the legs. Uh, we're going to need three of these are double backed so they fold over. Sensors when that one's hanging out. I have found that they don't fold too well, so before removing, gently go along with a scalpel just to improve the score already in there and try to do that on both sides carefully. So now, here's all the elements that we need to make one GWR bench. We have one, two, three legs, we have the seat of the bench, we have the backrest, and we have six small round GWR logos. Uh, I've also previously made the jig, which ensures the legs are held in position. I have a blob of PVA based glue on a scrap piece of paper and I've found one of the best ways to apply it is with another piece of paper uh, and just scrap piece of paper rolled it up I've got a more pointy part there more of a spatula part of that side and I find that's actually quite useful just for getting the small dots and just putting a little dabs of glue onto the required parts. So the first part is to make those legs so they need folding over if you recall, I've done a score over the score already in place to ensure that when they fold, they actually fold exactly into two. Sometimes, you might see here, the, uh, the paper hasn't gone right the way over. I'm just giving that a bit of a squeeze, just ensures 
that folds flush. And uh, let's do that for all three of those. Squeeze it together, ensure that that's round, ensure that that lines up, and you've got a nice clean hole in the middle. And also, uh, you probably can't make it out on here, but there's four little other holes around where the logo will go. And um, you should be able to see that those will actually be clear when the benches, uh, when those are all aligned. Let's get the other two done. Now we just need to place in the logos. Uh, this is quite fiddly, you need to make sure that they are the right way up. I've found uh, the best way to do it is first of all take the first one to pop in. Uh, so in that way, ensuring that the GWR is the right way up, and just poke that in. That, of course, is without glue. Turn it over, it should just stay in there by friction alone. Take the second one to go on the other side. I use the tweezers just to sort of pinch it at the top and gently just dab it against the glue, just so it picks up a small blob of glue on the back. Push that in that side. And just be able to push it with the thumb and uh, square it up and they should just go flush. That one's a little bit tricky there. Just use the edge of the tweezers, that flush bit there, just to push it onto the table, knowing that that is flush. So there we go. We now have the green bench, a little bit of glue, I'll just tidy that up in a moment. But we now have the green bench with the GWR logo on each side. Now we have the three legs ready to go in. So now we have our legs ready to put the benches on and uh, the instructions show you how to set the jig, where to place them, to first put on the, the bench, the bit that's getting sat on, and then you move it around slightly so that you've got the jig to put the back on, ensuring that it's all kept nice and square whilst the glue dries. Take the bench, the, the one that gets sat on is the one with the wider part, the back has actually got rounded corners and a more narrower plank. You will see that on the side, the upright side, there is actually where else the nuts and bolts are that actually hold the uh, bench actually onto the uh, supports. It's going to be on the rear of that that's going to fit. So turn those over and three blobs of glue. Just using my little uh, bit of scrap paper just to uh, paint basically paintbrush those um, little bit of PVA, don't need much. Three little strips just on the opposite sides to where those marks are, the little round bits that indicate the nuts, um, the, the scripts, the bolts. Pop that in place there. Let's just get that lined up. Make sure those um, are over the, um, over the support so it looks like that's actually where it's going to be bolted on. And then we just need to wait a couple of minutes for that glue to dry to ensure that that bench goes, um, fits on the um, squarely and dries in the correct upright position. So now that the glue's dried, I've uh, relocated the, the bench in the jig so that the um, it's almost like it's tilted over and pushed forward. So now that, now that the back of the supports is now resting against the, uh, the back of the jig. Take my little paintbrush and just on those supports there, let's just uh, paint on a little bit more of the PVA glue. Now this has got two slats, a narrow one and the top one, which is wider and has also got the curved edges, the curved tops. Uh, also on there, you know which way it's up because there's um, little, little marks on there which indicate whereabouts the um, the screws are that have screwed the, uh, the wooden fronts onto the supports. Let's just pop those on there, make sure they are in line, and make sure it's straight and flush with the other parts. Uh, 
this was happening. So the tops just so ever slightly, the support's just a slightly taller, and it's in line, and that's flush. There we go. And then just make sure, push it on gently, just to make sure that that um, is located in the right place. Now that jig ensures that those are going to be, those supports are going to remain square. They're going to make sure that it's um, all orientated in the right place. So when that glue dries, and you take that bench out of the jig, you're going to know that that support is going to be on uh, back and that's going to be, um, it's going to sit on your platform and it's going to sit square, it's going to fit, uh, sit level and anyone sitting on there isn't going to be sliding off. So let's just give that another couple of minutes just for that glue to dry before we remove it. So we've just waited for that glue to dry, hopefully it might be a little bit tacky but uh, I'm going to get on and just carefully remove that from the jig. That's a little bit stuck on that one, there we go. Make sure we don't break it now. Take that jig. Um, I've got a, a final bench that I need to make. I need to keep that safe. And uh, just test it with the tweezers. Just give it a little one. Squeeze just to make sure that back bench is on. Perfect. And then if I just pop that down next to those two of what we got, oh, we should find that should just sit. And just sit square on there. Um, each of those benches probably measures about three centimeters wide. Uh, they are to um, double O HO scale um, and actually do fit quite nicely. Of course, you've got the, the green um, with the GWR logos on there. It worked out when I purchased these about five pounds fifty for the kit, so that will make a total of four benches, which I think is a pretty good value for money. The other great thing unlike some of the, uh, the pre-made benches, at least you know with these, if you're doing a GWR uh, theme, a Great Western Railways theme, you know that those benches are going to fit in. The green um, is pretty close to the GWR green. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Well, I'm uh, Robert. Hope you've enjoyed that on robsmodels.co.uk. Uh, please leave a review. Make sure you subscribe. And um, catch you soon.